Many royal fans have probably heard of Meghan Markle's life story. She was a middle-class girl who grew up to be an actress. Then, she met Prince Harry, fell in love, got married, and had a son. However, there is one story that took place during an early part of Markle's life that is a lot of people have not heard about. In fact, this story involved what she reportedly described as the scariest moment of her life. Read on below to find out what event took place that really terrified Markle. Meghan Markle wanted to work in international relations when she was younger. This story took place when Markle was a college student at Northwestern University. Although Markle always had a fascination with the acting world, she did not always want to pursue acting. When she was still a student, Markle actually was working towards a career in diplomacy, which is why she decided to double major in theater and international relations. Markle had a scary moment during an internship abroad. Markle was a hard worker at school, she reportedly finished most of the required credits by the end of junior year, which allowed her to land a prestigious internship at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In 2002, she embarked on the six-week internship as a junior press officer. The experience would definitely turn out to be a memorable one she will never forget. On her 21st birthday, Markle was allowed to accompany the convoy that was picking up the U.S. Secretary of Treasury Paul O'Neill on his visit to Buenos Aires. However, this was during an economic crisis in Argentina, so the Argentine people were not too happy about O'Neill's visit. Argentina blamed the U.S. and the International Monetary Fund for the devaluation of their currently, and before he came to Argentina, O'Neill had also said some unkind words about South American countries. O'Neill was greeted by an angry mob in Buenos Aires. He later told, I remember the arrival because protesters banged on my limo with their placards. It was a memorable event. According to royal biographer Andrew Morton, Markle who was originally excited about being a part of the convoy would later describe the experience as the scariest moment of her life. This was also less than a year after the 9-11 attacks, and there were rumors that Islamic militants were looking to do some business in South American countries. Morton noted, Meghan would have already been wary and it's easy to imagine how frightening she would have found an angry mob of protesters attacking her car. In any case, while she seemed to have done a tremendous job at her internship, Markle eventually left the diplomacy path. She took the Foreign Service Officer test while in Buenos Aires, but she failed it and reportedly thought that it was a stretch too far. Markle might have left the angry mob situation in one piece, but there are evidence that she is not completely at peace these days as the Duchess of Sussex. She is currently one of the most high-profile people in the world, and that obviously comes with a lot of security concerns. Frogmore Cottage, the house that she lives in with Prince Harry and their son, has been said to have Fort Knox-style security. There are cameras and sensors all around the premise, and especially near the nursery. A source even said that it is almost like a fortress. Whenever Markle leaves her house, she is also accompanied by bodyguards. The Duchess reportedly does not like going out without these protection officers. There are certain things she's extremely paranoid about, such as being physically attacked, an insider said to the Sun.